State Treasurer John Schroeder. Hey, Mr. John, welcome back to Keel. How are you this morning? Hey, good morning, guys. How y'all? Excellent, sir. Let's start here because we have lots of questions about lots of things. Yep. Uh, first of all, Erin's on like the Claim Your Property website and it says she has more than $100, which, which uh, will the email yep. that she gets tell her exactly how much it is? No. Okay. You have, you have to go do the claim before you find out how much it actually is. And then, then you're just going to send me a check, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the governor, John Bell, is suing you because, and this is how I explained it to folks, there's this drawer in Baton Rouge, and it's got about 75, well, actually $78 million in it of the people's money. Let's start here. Explain to everybody where this $78 million came from. So this money comes from a lot of different places, insurance policies, deposits, uh, royalties, just a number of different ways that companies have on behalf of you. And when they lose track of you, and most of the time they, it, they just lose the address, they can't find you, by law, this money has to be turned over to the state of Louisiana under the, 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 uh, the Department of Treasury where the treasurer is the custodian and safekeeper. Now, I know y'all aren't lawyers, but look up what that means. Custodian and safekeeper. That's in the law. So The, the governor, sorry, governor Edwards sorry. disagrees with your interpretation. He wants the money for what? The general fund? Can he... For, for it, the it, general fund. And 30, it's, it's not like... Billion's not a, 32 billion isn't enough. So he wants to take your personal money. I mean, this program was created to, as a service to the citizens of Louisiana to take this money on behalf of you and, and somehow return it to you. And people say, well, you know, over time, you ought to be able to, the state ought to get it. No, I don't agree. I just, I fundamentally disagree that, that, that the state ought to get this money at any point in its lifetime. But to be fair, Mr. Just, John, if, if the state owes Aaron a thousand bucks... It's not like John Bell's going to take her thousand bucks and keep it. He's just saying that we'll get it back to you. But in the meantime, I want seventy-eight million dollars, right? Cor correct. Who do you trust? Who do you trust to get your money back from? That's my problem. The general fund or a safe fund? That's where I'm worried. Well, That's what I'm worried about. I mean, we we can we can we can argue back and forth on whether the state ought to use the money and this that and the other. I proposed two years ago, and, and you saw that, if y'all remember, um, September a year, we were $20 million short. We had 82,000 claims we couldn't pay, and I had no mechanism to get the money. It's because the money's not sitting in some account. The state spends it at the end of the year, at the end of the cycle, and it was the end of the cycle. So I had to wait 90 to 120 days to get enough money to pay those claims. That's how this all started, and the media sort of leaves that part out. I didn't just wake up one day and said, you know what, I'm not going to send this money to the state general fund any longer. So literally, No, what happened was we, we owed $20 million, and we couldn't pay it. And, it's, Aaron, it's no different than you taking a check to the bank and a bank saying, okay, this is a good check, but give me 90 days and I'll give you your cash. So oh, basically your concern no. is that the state, in this case the governor of Louisiana, John Belairs, will spend that $78 million. Aaron, for example, wants her thousand bucks or whatever it happens to be, and the state says, "Look, we kind of spent that, but you can trust us for us. You can trust us for it down the line." That's what you're saying, isn't it? That's exactly what happened last year. Uh, we had to wait to get the money, and I, I don't think you should have to wait to get your money. It's not not the state's money to begin with. So I propose something pretty logical and something pretty common sense. Let's put it in a trust fund. Allow me to run the department the way it needs to be run, and then we'll invest the money just like the $6 billion we do in trust fund money now. And we ran a model that if we would just put the money in a, in a trust account and invest it, 25 years from now, this thing could be kicking off $65 plus million a year. And then you know what? They can argue what they want to use the money for. The governor says the law is clear. I'm quoting now. Excess revenues in the unclaimed property fund are to benefit the public. And he says the public does not profit by the treasurer simply seeking to grow the size of his government bank account. You disagree. You think the public does benefit by protecting the money, correct? 
it, it, it's 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 not even the public's money. It's it. This money is not taxes. This isn't fees. This is money, Aaron, that that was owed to you by some company, and they lost you, and they give it to the state to hold and return. Now, some states take it and spend it. I'm glad I don't live in that state. But this this doesn't even belong to the citizens, quote, of Louisiana. This has individual owners' names. And quite frankly, uh, this program was started under, under the governor's office some 20 years ago, and nobody ever stopped to look to see what if it was proper that they took the money and spent it. It wasn't until we didn't have the money that we did the research and scratched our heads and said, wait a minute, we can't find in the law where this is supposed to go to the general fund to begin with. So that's why I did what I did. You know, it's sort of silly. Think about this now, that the governor is going to sue the treasurer, Department of Treasury. He's suing the people of Louisiana is what he's doing um, to take their money. Uh, it's this would be so easy to fix. Is, is you know, it, he has spent zero time even trying to discuss it or have any communication with us to see what we could do to make this program work. Is it going to be a long court case? Is it going to be settled fast? Uh, what's the and point? does the AG represent you or the governor? How, where does he fall on this? No, the AG um, is not going to represent us. We've uh, we've retained counsel. I say we've retained counsel. I think by the end of today we'll have counsel. Um uh, I don't think it's going to take long. It's not that complicated. And, it, you know, the, the judge will have to decide who's interpreting this law uh, correctly. 